Hi friends, welcome to Learn with MSU. In this video, we are going to discuss about a program which is identifying the position of robot after giving the movements. This is one of the most important program which is asked in most of the companies. You are given with the robot and then you are asked to identify the final position of the robot after giving a sequence of letters. There are four movements are there up, down, left and right. So initially if you are starting, you know the basic movements of a robot. Suppose if you are having, the robots are available like this. So this is, if you consider this as a graph. So this is 0 and 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 and then so on. If the robot is placed here, if we are moving towards the left hand side, then it will move to minus 1 comma 0. So this location is minus 1 comma 0. So if you moving left hand side, this value will be reduced. And then if you move to the right hand side, then the new position is 1 comma 0. If you perform up operation, the new position is 0 comma 1. If you perform down operation, then the location is minus 1 comma 0. This is what the location, that is 0 comma minus 1 because this is y axis then this is the x axis this is what we have to do so you are given with the example also initially the position 0 comma 0 the input move is up down down left right and then left you have to identify this is your output from 0 comma 0 if you perform up operation y axis value is incremented so 0 comma 1 from 0 comma 1 if you perform down operation then you reached 0 comma 0 y axis value is reduced from 0, 0, if you perform down operation, y axis value is further reduced, so it will become 0, minus 1. From 0, minus 1, if you perform left operation, the x axis value will be reduced minus 1, comma minus 1. From minus 1, comma minus 1, if you perform right operation, then uh, x axis value will be increased, that is 0, minus 1. At last, if you see that from 0, minus 1, if you perform left operation, it will be minus 1, comma minus 1. So that what you have to do is we are starting from 0, 0 at last we are reaching out minus 1, minus 1 and then you are asked to identify the output of this sequence. So you have to you are asked to write the program for this. So writing programming for this concept is very simple. What you have to do is we have to use a separate four counters for identifying U, D, L, R. So we have to use four counters for that. Whenever if you are reaching U, you have to increase the up counter. Whenever if you are reaching D, we are going to increase the down counter. At last, we want to subtract uh, U, that is U minus D, total number of up minus total number of down, and then total number of R minus total number of L. If we subtract that, automatically you will get the answer. So now we will discuss the Java program for this. Now we consider this, uh, we are having a main function, string move. This is a move we want to identify. We want to identify the final location. We are passing this string to this method this method is declared as a static method so that without object you can call within the class so we are calling so we are identifying move dot length of we are identifying the length of the string in l and then count up equal to zero count down equal to zero left equal to zero right equal to zero so we have to extend our loop from zero to l that is total number of length if move dot care at of i which means that care at is actually a function which belongs to the string function which will identify the character which is present at the ith location so move is a string which is passed here and if it is i equal to u equal to equal to we are checking as a character we are not checking as a string keep that in mind count up plus plus and similarly if it is u d count down plus plus if it is uh, l we are left plus plus if it is r we are right plus plus at last what is the final position is right minus left and then what is the final position in y axis is up minus down this is a predefined formula so if we execute this automatically we will get this answer so if i run this file automatically you will get the final position as 2 comma 3 manually you can execute this you will get the answer as 2 comma 3 so writing this program is very simple you can see this program and then you can execute this program you can easily crack the interview for this program thanks for watching thank you